competition. Candy Brown, our queen of cooking, is in Rockland <laughs> as they begin practicing. <laughs> I know this is so out of my element. So we're in the area where they're going to be cooking. And if you're wondering, well, where are the students right now? It's because in two weekends, they're going to be going to Pomona. But how this all works is they actually start getting things set up in the hallway. So come here with me so you can see as they start getting things prepared. Because before they go in to actually start cooking, they're going to be in the hallway of this uh, hotel banquet trying to get everything Situated. So, what are you working on right now? Um, I'm going to put the asparagus into the uh, cooler so we can like pretend like we're doing. Yeah, yeah you're you're <laughs> pretending like you're going to be doing the cooking. What are you guys making? They have an hour, you guys, to make a gourmet meal. What are you guys going to be cooking? Uh, we're going to be cooking. Let's see, scallops with a pesto sauce and some asparagus cooked two ways, and then duck with. Potatoes uh, and a apricot sauce. Okay, so this is, I mean, you can tell a lot goes into this as they're getting everything prepared. Now, let me see over here. You're getting the uh, the chef clothes re ready. Is that part of the is that part of the competition too? Um, no, this is prep beforehand. We'll come in wearing the coats. Okay, so you just want to make sure that you guys are getting everything ready. And so they're actually going to be practicing. The cooking as well today because you really want to get them ready. Krista is the uh, instructor here. You've been doing this for 12 years here at uh, Whitney High School, but not new to teaching uh, high school students by any means. How difficult is this competition? This is a really difficult competition. The kids have to cook at an adult, high end restaurant level of cooking. They have to have knife skills, they have to know, you know, how to saute and how to steam and all of those uh, and flavors they have to be able to taste what they're making and say oh this needs a little more salt or this is good and so all of those skills to you know be able to if they choose go out and work in the restaurant industry that's what we're trying to give them yeah, the idea is that they're going to be having a skill here that they could then take and do that uh, if they want to go to college, do that maybe while they're in college. If they don't want to go to college and want to pursue this full time, that they already have some skills. What is the skill lever for the students that come to you? Well, when they first start, they might be in beginning foods. I've had kids who, you know, cooked at home, but they're not a professional cook. Then we have our baking class, and they can learn all different baking skills. And then our top last class is the restaurant hospitality class, and they are, you know, learning restaurant skills, knife skills, and sauces, and breakfast foods, and meats, and everything. So they really have a, you know, they could have three years of culinary before they graduate, okay. which is a lot. Yeah, that is a lot. Uh, the last couple of years, they have come in second place, but it's not about where they place, and we're going to tell you why in the next segment. Okay, thank you very much. Guess what time it is? It is 